Hello, friends. Good day to all of you. So up to $1,050 in stimulus relief checks will begin going out to millions of Americans. Many cities and U.S. states have finally approved new inflation relief programs to help out the residents. However, some lawmakers have proposed that the next round of relief payments go out to a more targeted group of individuals. My friends, please make sure you watch until the end of this video for the latest stimulus news and information. Also, to say thank you for joining me here every day and watching my videos, I'm giving away four $75 Walmart gift cards every week. Please, friends, enter the giveaways by clicking and liking several of my videos and then commenting below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. ...of student debt. President Biden's decision to cancel up to $20,000 of federal student debt for as many as 43 million Americans with incomes under $125,000 a year is an historic step to deliver life-changing relief to working families and to help rebuild America's middle class. Senator Scott's bill is just one of Republicans' desperate efforts to block cancellation for millions of Americans. Now, Republicans are happy to pass out tax breaks and regulatory loopholes for billionaires and giant corporations. But they're fighting tooth and nail to keep working families from getting a penny of relief. Evidently, Senator Scott believes that $2 trillion in Republican tax cuts that were not paid for is fine so long as those tax cuts are aimed mostly at billionaires, millionaires, and giant corporations. But a program that costs a fraction as much and for which 90% of its benefits go to people earning less than $75,000 a year is now somehow a moral outrage. Today he claims to worry about those taxpayers who he says will shoulder student loan cancellation. But where was Senator Scott, or then Governor Scott, when Donald Trump and the Congressional Republicans handed out $2 trillion in tax breaks to billionaires and giant corporations, not a penny of which were paid for. Where was he then? Average gas prices across the nation have been on a steady decline since June. That is not so much the case in California, where prices have been back on the uptick since the beginning of September. So far this month, California prices have bucked the national trend. On Monday, average prices of gasoline hit $5.41 a gallon in the state. That is up from $5.27 a week ago and $5.38 one month ago. Analysts say that refinery issues are to blame for affecting California prices. Patrick DeHaan, the head of petroleum analysis for Gas Buddy, told reporters, we continue to see the national average price of gasoline decline. Now for the 13th straight week, but we are seeing drastically different price behaviors from coast to coast, with some areas seeing noticeable increases while others are seeing decreases. Refinery issues in California are leading to increases in areas supplied by the state's refineries, including areas of Arizona, Oregon, Nevada, Washington, and of course, California. Californians should expect a boost to their bank balance in the next coming weeks. And that's thanks to the state's middle-class tax refund. These inflation relief checks will provide Californians with some extra cash. As part of an agreement between state legislators and Governor Gavin Newsom, state residents who filed taxes in 2020 will receive up to $1,050, either by direct deposit or a state-issued debit card. The funds are intended to help offset inflation and rising gas prices. State taxpayers who filed their 2020 taxes before October 25, 2021, and who earn less than $500,000 a year are eligible. The refund amounts are tiered to both income levels and the number of dependents. Those whose sole income is Social Security or who otherwise do not earn enough to warrant filing an income tax return 
will not be eligible for the relief payment. The funds will be automatically deposited to those who qualify, so there is no need to apply. Refunds are allocated by tier. Single taxpayers who earn less than $75,000 a year will receive $300, and married taxpayers who earn less than $150,000 a year will receive $700. And if you have at least one dependent, you will receive an additional $350. Income thresholds are determined by 2020 tax information. The California Franchise Tax Board developed a tool to help residents estimate their total refund amount. The details have been murky on when exactly Californians can expect their refund. But the California Franchise Tax Board announced earlier this week that deposits are coming in a matter of weeks. Also, according to a recent poll, President Biden's popularity improved substantially from his lowest point this summer. But many concerns about his handling of the economy still persist. Support for President Biden recovered from a low of 36% in July to 45%, driven in large part by a rebound in support from Democrats just two months before the November midterm elections. During a few bleak summer months when gasoline prices peaked, the Democrats face a possibility of blowout losses against Republicans. The U.S. president's approval ratings remains underwater, with 53% of U.S. adults disapproving of him. And the economy continues to be a weakness for Biden. Just 38% approve of his economic leadership, as the country faces stubbornly high inflation. But still, the polls suggest Biden and his fellow Democrats are gaining momentum, right as generating voter enthusiasm and turnout takes precedence. But Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer reportedly said to a group of Senate Democrats that he thinks his party won't keep control of the House. According to Yahoo News, Chuck Schumer said House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is in trouble. However, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi expressed confidence this week at a press conference that the Democrats would retain the House. Well, my awesome and beautiful friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for today. Thank you so very, very much for joining me here. I greatly appreciate every single one of you who are watching all of my videos. The winner of today's Walmart gift card giveaway is Dora Little. Congratulations, dear friend. To claim your gift card, please check your notifications page and send me an email. Or you can also send me a message on my Facebook page. Thank you, my friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Thursday.